Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off talking about a very interesting unofficial event for the Nintendo 3DS. It's called 3DS Community Online Revival, and it takes place from now until April 8th, when 3DS services are officially shut off. Well, I'd assume a lot of people are probably thinking that this is some sort of last hurrah event for the 3DS. You might be correct in the official sense. I mean, Nintendo is shutting down servers on April 8th. Unofficially, though, Pretendo exists and Pretendo is a free and open source replacement for Nintendo servers. But before I go down a rabbit hole, they say calling all artists. The favorite game's art collab is live now across Swap Doodle, Arverse, and Juxtaposition on 3DS. Share your new Pretendo friend code with others by drawing your favorite games coming together. We're compiling the best art pieces into a huge collage, so join up. On top of that, every weekend during this event, they're hosting two to three online games with a live group call and live streams inside of their 3D Escort. On March 21st, they're going to be at PAX East for their biggest Street Pass event yet. And on top of that, they say Street Pass Weekend 2024 is officially being hosted worldwide on April 12th to 14th. And this is after Nintendo officially shuts down servers. It could only be possible thanks to Pretendo. So if you are curious about this one and wanted to learn more about it, I'll drop a link to their Twitter in the description below as well as their Discord in the description below. And on a side note here, Pretendo works on an actual 3DS, so news of Citra shutting down shouldn't really dampen this event too much. Next up, we're quickly talking about the recently released Skull and Bones. There's a lot of reports out there stating that this game is currently 25% off, which is interesting considering the game just released. Least. I took a look online and didn't see it 25% off really anywhere in North America. However, in the UK, the game currently appears to be on sale, so if this game is on your radar, you may want to keep your eyes out for the price. Next up, we're talking about, and I might mispronounce this one, Enti, and Enti has just gone open source. For those who may not be aware, Enti stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano and it's a service that provides a fully open source end-to-end -end encrypted platform for you to store your data in the cloud without needing to trust the service provider. NT has a couple of apps that I think a lot of people would be interested in. One is NT Photos, an alternative to Google Photos, and the other one is NT Auth, a two-factor authentication alternative to something like Authy. And fun fact here, in the latest version of NT Auth, version 2.0.34, there's a fun little feature here that says add LastPass Authenticator import. If you wanted to read through their official announcement and learn more, I'll drop a link to it in the description below. And in the comments below, let me know how to properly pronounce this. Is it Enti? Is it Ante? Is it Enta? I really don't know. Next up, if you use Steam, you may want to bookmark this page. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. It's the full list of 2024 Steam events, and it is official. In my opinion, this page is super helpful. It may save you a few bucks, or cost you a few bucks if you've got a big wish list. For example, in just a few days, starting on March 14th, it's going to be the Steam Spring Sale. After that in April, we've got the FPS Fest, the Farming Fest. In August here is the Fighting Game Fest, and there's even more stuff. Next up, we're quickly talking about AMD, and it appears through an unintentional leak from actual AMD sources that AMD may be working on AI game upscaling. If you are curious about this one, it's kind of a short announcement, and I think CTO Mark Papermaster may have let it slip. I've timestamped the YouTube video in the description below, and feel free to check it out. It starts at about 36 minutes in. In my opinion, this was kind of inevitable given the fact that NVIDIA's got DLSS. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Are you excited about it? Would you pick up an AMD GPU that has AI upscaling? Moving on, and we're talking about something I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around, and that is Twin World Survivor. Apparently, this is going to be an anti-pay-to-win game. However, there are in-app purchases. The developer on this one says we've transformed in-app purchases into a gaming experience. Players unlock features and all of the game content that usually requires payment by cracking the game with the hacker, defeating the coercive power of the pay-to-win boss, 
and ultimately helping the game dev realize the meaning of true game design. So with the ability to unlock in-app purchase content for free, I don't know why it says in-app purchases. I'm completely confused by this one and will be paying attention when it releases. Twin World Survivor is currently up for pre-order on the Google Play Store, and this Reddit person says it best. Okay, I thought it's about making people who pay more lose more somehow. Not gonna lie here, that's exactly where my mind went to. Next up, we're talking about build launcher and this is a front end for build engine games it can download all major ports for build engine games as well as mods custom campaigns and maps and launch them all with the port of your choice build launcher appears to be geared towards windows and version 0.0.1 .0 just dropped they say it's the pre-release version of the launcher. Most features are implemented and working. Downloadable mods database is very limited right now, but it will be updated regularly. As for stuff that's not quite done yet, it doesn't have auto-update, auto-detection of games, or notifications when there's an update for a mod. Build Launcher currently supports Duke Nukem 3D, Shadow Warrior, and Blood. And if you are interested in learning more, I'll drop a link to the GitHub in the description below. Next up, I've got a very weird and quick update about the Epic Games hack. We talked about this one a while back when Epic Games was allegedly hacked and about 200 gigs of data was apparently stolen. Epic Games denied the hack, said they had no proof of that whatsoever. And it turns out they weren't lying. According to CyberDaily.au, which I will drop a link to in the description below, apparently the whole thing was a scam to try to extort money out of Epic, and there was no hack. It also appears this wasn't the first time something like this has happened, so now people are apparently going out and faking ransomware attacks trying to extort people for money. Next up, we're quickly talking about Gear Coleco, an emulator for the ColecoVision, and it just got a brand new update. Now, Gear Coleco is developed by the same person who develops Gear Boy and Gear System, which we talked about yesterday. And version 1.1.0 just dropped. We've got performance improvements, accuracy improvements, bug fixes, and new features. So just like Gear Boy and Gear System, we've got saved screenshots, improved input response time, scaling improvements, and even more. Specific to Gear Coleco, we've got support for Activision Cart, support for Mega Cart, and support for Super Action Controller, Wheel Controller, and Roller Controller. Moving on, and we're talking about Pineapple. And you may or may not be familiar with this one, but Pineapple was a way that people got the Yuzu Early Access for free. And I'll drop a link to this GitHub in the description below, and feel free to check it out. There's a write-up here on how Pineapple actually works. Now, this is all kind of a moot point right now, considering that Yuzu is dead. But at the same time here, it's a pretty interesting way they went about to get the early access stuff. Next up, we're talking about Project Wheelman, an indie game that is loosely based on Driver 2. This game was being developed a while back, and it turns out this game is being developed again. According to their latest Instagram post, it says, Back on the Road. I think a lot of people are going to be excited about this one. Unfortunately, I do not have any time frame for release dates on this one at all. However, if you wanted to read up more about it, I'll drop a link to the IndieDB page in the description below. There are some very interesting images, and this game looks promising. Next up, this is a quick one, and just a friendly heads up, and only applies to you if you've got an Apple device. But apparently there's a fake PSP emulator on the App Store. This app is apparently free with in-app purchases, and the in-app purchase is PSP Premium Weekly for $4.99 which is $4.99 too much. Now, to be clear with you, I do not have an Apple device to verify this one myself. However, based on what I've been told and based on the reviews here, it appears to be completely fake. This person says, this is a scam app, don't bother downloading it. It redirects you to an external site that doesn't have anything remotely close with what they're saying this app is supposed to do. And the rest of the reviews on this page are littered with one-star reviews. I've got no idea how it's sitting at 3.7 stars. In my opinion, PPSSPP is the absolute best PSP emulator out there, and there is one for iPhone. However, to install it is not through the App Store. I'll drop a link to this in the description below, and feel free to check it out. Again, I do not have an Apple device, so I cannot recommend anything. And speaking about app stores, last up we're switching back to Android and talking about Google Play. And this is more of just a friendly heads up. If you've got a Play Pass subscription, Pizza Boy GBA Pro and Pizza Boy GBC Pro are free with it. These are normally paid apps. They are not open source, but they are fantastic. 
and they are worth checking out. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and one fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state. <laughs>